Hello, welcome back. In this lecture, we're gonna talk about how we're gonna uh, draw influence line uh, for reaction forces, for shear, and for moment. What is influence line? Uh, in 1867, uh, an engineer named Winkler uh, first came up with the idea. The influence line basically is uh, uh, is the uh, when you have a moving load going across the beam, and it's a graph of the uh, response of the uh, support system in the structure. So we take a look at this uh, uh, simply supported beam. We have this beam, and uh, we're going to show the free body diagram, and we're going to put a load on it. The load is one unit. So one unit load, and we're going to go ahead and calculate these reaction forces as we have done many, many times before. So uh, let's figure out what AY and CY comes out to. Let's take a moment about C. So I'm going to go ahead and say summation moment about point C is equal to zero. Counterclockwise is positive. I have AY multiplied by 20. No? Yeah. AY times 20, and that's going to be negative because it's going the opposite, it's going clockwise. And then I'm going to have 1 multiplied by 20 minus x. If this distance, this one unit load we're going to put on here, and it's a distance of x from uh, uh, end of the beam to right here, therefore from here back that way it's going to be this whole total distance minus x, which is 20 minus x. Therefore I'm going to have this, and they're going to be plus 1 times 20 minus x. And that will give me AY is equal to uh, uh, <coughs> 1 uh, minus uh, what I have is or 1 over 20x. Okay. Let's do uh, find out what CY is. Summation F of Y is equal to 0. Going up is positive. And I'm going to have uh, 1 minus 1 over 20x minus 1 plus CY is equal to 0. That gives me CY is equal um, X over 20. Okay, let's just write this down because this is basically equal to that right there. Good. And this one came out to uh, X over uh, 20. We need this. Now, continuing with that, we're going to go ahead... Um, Find out what is the uh, AY as uh, one moving from uh, one end of the beam to the other end of the beam. So let's make a table right here. Call this X and call this AY. What happened when X is zero? We already have the formula for it. So if X is zero, then y, AY is, comes out, the reaction there comes out one. Let's go every five feet. What, what happened if you go five feet? And that's becoming kind of 5 divided by 20 minus 1. That's going to become 0 0.75. If I go 10 feet, that's going to be 0 0.5. While we're here, let's find out what, what's going to be at point B, which is at 12 feet away. 12 feet, uh, it's going to be 0 0.6, 0 0.4, right? Continue going on down, and we're going to have uh, 15 and 20. And that's going to become 0 0.75, and that's going to become 0. So now we have all that right here. Um, let's just make a graph of this. Coming back in here, and uh, I'm going to have the same line here going back. That's the x line, which is 20 right here. And, uh, and right here, make uh, this is the ay. And right here, said this is 1. Okay? And we have 1 from there. And because we know at 0, AY is equal 1. And at 20, AY is equal 0. Right here. So make a straight line to it. There you go. This is your influence line for that reaction force, AY. And we're going to say right here, okay, um, my AY is going to be uh, 1 minus 1 over 20x. So that's the influence line for reaction force. Now let's move on to do a shear. Shear is a little bit different. Uh, keep this formula in mind. AY is that and CY is x 
over 20. Let me go on this side of the board here and um, draw the same line right here. Okay, and this is point B. And this will be A, this will be C. Now what is shear? Shear is cut it. When we're gonna cut this beam in half, what happened? If you cut them right there, and uh, based on that one unit load, that is gonna be anywhere, we don't know, one, it's gonna be X, all right? And uh, so now when you cut this, something funny happened with shear. Let me draw this one more time. A, B, C. So when I cut it, this gonna, it's gonna be like a, a beam like this connected. And then when you cut it, what happened? The one side goes down, the other side goes up like that. It's just like that, all right? And the distance always gonna be that one unit. So let's say this is gonna come down right to this point. Uh, and then the other part's gonna go up here. It's gonna look like this. And this distance right here, let's call this H1. and call this one H2. This always is one because we use one unit. So now we have um, H1 and H2. And uh, if we call this distance from here to here L1, and this distance L2, and the entire distance is L, in this case is 20, um, L, which is equal 20. So my H1, I like to know what is this and what is H2. You can say H1 is equal L1 divided by the total length. L1 divided by total length. In this case, our L1 was uh, 12, which is 12 divided by 20, and that comes out to 0.6. And H2 is L2 divided by L, which is 8 divided by 20, and that's a 0.4. So now I have um, point 0.6 here and point 0.4 there. But let's do another way. We're going to figure something else out here. I'd like to know what is this, uh, this equation here is and this equation comes out to for the V uh, at that point. Normally we can say, this is a shortcut, but we're gonna come back and prove this. This kind of should become AY and this one should become uh, uh, minus CY. And what is AY? AY came out to be one minus one over 20X and this one comes out to minus x over 20. Let's prove that, how we got that. Um, I'm gonna come back here, then I'll come back to swing this around. So let's take the same beam right here. Um, make a cut in the beam, like I always say. At point B. So this is point B. And we have AY right here, which was uh, AY 1 minus 1 over 20X. And this distance is uh, 12 feet. So when we do that, what happened? We're going to cut it. We're going to replace it with a shear. Um, going to come down with a shear VB. And then we're going to have moment MB. We have NB, we're not gonna bother that for now. And we have this unit load also right here at point X. All right. I wonder what, what, the, uh, uh, what the shear is at this point. 
simple summation f of y. Let me make room here. So I'm going to go ahead and do summation f of y is equal to 0 for this share. Going up is positive. I have a y, which is 1 minus 1 over 20x. And then going across, I have this unit load, which is 1 minus 1. Then I have the share minus vb is equal to 0. So 1 and 1 cancel each other out. And vb comes out to... That's going to go over there, change positive 120 divided by x. No, that's a minus, minus 120. So vb comes out to minus 120 right here on this side. And there we go right here, which is same as a minus cy. cy came out x over 20, so this is minus cy. And therefore, right here, we say, okay, this comes out to... Um, minus 120 over x. What about this one? We said it's going to be ay, and we can do the same thing, and this will comes out to ay. You try that on your own, see if you come up with that number. All right, that take care of the, uh, we did share, influence line for share, and we're going to do influence line for a moment now. I'm going to use the same board, so I'm going to go ahead and isolate this. Let's find a different color here. Okay, isolate this, and we're going to see if we can fit the moment right here. That's the only block I got open. All right, uh, now we're going to, for a moment, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to draw the uh, influence line. We had, this was our force, our beam, I'm sorry, um, and we had AY here and CY here, which we know already what they are. Then we have uh, X, and then we have point B right here. So we know this is a 12 feet and this is eight feet. And draw the moment right underneath it. Okay, A, C, is B right here. So you how we get there first. Let me draw this. All right. We take the same beam right here. We have all the information from previous steps. This is AY. This is my load, unit load. And this was 12 feet. We're going to cut it at B. That's right. And we're going to have shear going down and moment going this way, MB. All right, so uh, summation moment by point B is equal to zero going downward. And that's going to be AY time 12, which we know what AY is. AY time 12 minus 1 time what? If this is an X, Therefore, this is going to be what? 12 minus x. So that's going to be 1 time 12 minus x. And then uh, mb is a positive plus mb is equal to 0. Let's see, I have my sign. Ay is going to be negative. That's a negative Ay. And 1 is going to be positive. That's going to be plus. And then it's going to be plus MB. And if we, if we substitute AY, which is uh, um, 1 minus over 20X, so we're going to have minus 1 minus 1 over 20X time 12 plus 12 minus X. And... Uh, minus mb equals zero and mb it's going to come out to uh, i got point four x and for x is 12 12 times point four comes out to 12 times point four Is 
NB comes out to right here, uh, 0.4x. Therefore, if you multiply by 12, that should come out to 4.8 right here. Okay. And uh, that's 12 feet from here. And this one, it's going to come out uh, same way. We're going to go ahead and calculate it and see what this equation comes out to. In here, we said <clears throat> that should be 0.4x or really you can say a time um, cy that'd be a times cy so that's equal as a time cy that's just a shortcut therefore this time will be um, 12 times ay and this one's going to be 12 times ay and we can prove that, but I need a boardroom. So um, this, so we calculate this. Uh, this is uh, this equation comes out to a times c y, or we could, uh, prove it, which is same as a point four x, and that's how we did it. We take a, we uh, took the whole beam right here. We have all the reaction forces, so we take the beam and we cut the beam in half uh, uh, right at B. Once we cut them in, in half. We have summation moment about this point, and we do summation moment about this point, and we ca calculate MB. And MB came out to 0.4x. Or, as a shortcut, you can always say, okay, if this is 0.4x, the same as a, a this reaction times this. This reaction times this will give me that, and this reaction times distance will give me this. That's why I said put 12AY -Y here. Let's find out what that comes out to, 12 times AY. Um, so I'm going to come on to the other side of the beam again. And this time, go from here, and where I have my CY, and we know CY is X over 20, and then I have my shear. Remember, over here, shear went down, so therefore, shear got to come up on this way. That's a VB, and then moment is the other way, so the moment is going to be opposite the other side, so that's an MB. And we just, we're going to put a load going to move over here, and the load that's moving here is from X. So, if this was a y, and we cut it right here before. This was a, and this was the total distance of x. So what is this going to be? Distance is, is what? If this is a x, so that's going to be x minus 12. That's right. x minus 12 right here. And now we can go ahead and take a moment about point B for this from reaction CY. Summation moment about point B is equal to 0. And we're going to have CY time 8. And that's going to be positive. CY time 8. Then we're going to have minus 1 time X minus 12. And then we're going to have minus MB itself is equal to 0. And you go ahead and f do this calculation. You substitute CY for X over 20. And you're going to find out MB can come out to 12 minus uh, 0.6 x and that's the same as 12 times a y so if you have 12 times a y be 12 times a y came out to be 1 minus 1 over 20 x is equal uh, 12 minus 0.6 x check mark so that's where the moment's going to look like